Okay. Part three. We're starting right back here. We never moved for lunch. We stayed right here. We went that way to start. Came back that way. Now we're going to go this way. Which is pretty much right into the sun. I mean, right into the wind. The loop we're going to do now should be just over about five miles. I almost did it in reverse. Just because we gotta do a little bit of road. Well, what I should say is, <coughs> I'll decide when I get down here if I wanna do it in reverse. I pretty much decided I'm gonna do it in reverse, but I wanna see when I get down here. Because there's a couple places where we walk along the road. And I didn't know if I wanted to do that first or last. But I got rid of the sweatshirt. Took the watch off, put it in my pocket so I don't get a funky tan line. Just me. It's warmed up considerably, but it's also more windy. I didn't check the weather before I left, so I'd be more accurate about it, but it really didn't matter. So here's the first of the road section. This is A. Okay. Um, right here, A. And I put the dot right on the A. So I, I was like, wait, where is it? But anyway, this is the section of road. And then we're going to pick it up right here at B and go right to X. And then we're going to go down. I want to do this Ironwood Trail just because that's really the only peaks and the rest of it's pretty simple, you know, as far as doing any challenge at all. But from here to here is also, and maybe even up to here, is road. So I don't know if you're getting it on the phone or not, but. Um, we're here, we're going to go to X, and then from there we're going to go to Y, and then from there to Z, then we're going to take Ironwood, which is a little over half mile, but it picks up the dirt road, 
that um, they drive on. It's the park trail, park drive, scenic thing. Up to the trail again, and then we're going to go, which I think is also a dirt road, the same scenic road, I'm pretty sure it is, up to R, and that's the campground. And then from there, I know it's a meadow trail because I've already hiked this. And then from S on all the way to U, I've never done. And that's pretty much back to, we can decide what we're going to do when we get there. There's options, many. So, right now, we've got to do a little bit of roadway down to where X joins in, which is down here. That's our plan. Let's see how that goes. <laughs> I don't think it really would have mattered much if I wore this sweatshirt. Because the breeze is comfortable. On the roads, I'm going to move it along pretty good. That way I won't have to edit it out on the video. I'll just move right along. People expect horses and people on this section. It's, it's marked. If you can drive on it and walk on it and horseback on it, it's, there's signs everywhere. So this may be our puppy trail right here. I don't know. They try not to, oh, maybe not. I was gonna say, they try not to put us on the roads too long. But no, that is not a trail. That's just a, something someday maybe, or a washout. But, and we get to see the ponds, which are kinda cool. This actually might be part of that scenic drive, park drive, they call it. Other parks call them scenic drives, whatever. But this this road might be a part of it. It's this type of stuff everywhere all around it. It's basically a big hiking trail for lazy people. You know, I've driven it a few times because it is kind of cool. I mean, you can't stop places and um, hike off of it. But it's used for everything, so if you do drive it, just beware. Trails cross it all the time. Yeah, the breeze is picking up. This looks like a trailhead coming up. Might be ours. Oh. Let's find out for sure. Oh, they're not gonna give us a UR here. Well, that was me of them. Huh, well, it should be right here at B. You know, that's the bend and turn and everything goes around that leg and here we are. We're gonna call it that. It's marked B at the bottom of the pole, but there's nothing labeling otherwise. <clears throat> and we're going right into the wind, so I don't know what I'm gonna get for audio here for a while. I'll try to speak loud and closer to the phone when I wanna speak.
we're nowhere near the top of this yet either. Oh yeah, this is wet everywhere. <laughs> Water running right down that for a while. I'm just moving it a little bit just to get to the top of all this. Maybe there's some woods. Once we get in there, I'll slow it up. Looks like they farm this. <laughs> Crazy. Whew. All right. Slow it up a little bit here. Definitely windy up here. going on now are they gonna give us a label this time at least wow we got colors going on here okay this looks almost like a winter trail map um, yeah they're not even showing the trail that come over to here uh, this, this one is kind of eh. this doesn't really help us much we're somewhere on this Remember, we went from A to B, so we might be at X. We are at X, but it doesn't show any of the other trails going off of X. Oddly enough, it doesn't show any of these. Hmm. Weird. Okay. Well, let's head to the pond. Looks like. I could have brought the sweatshirt. Maybe should have worn it anyway. Just dealt with the heat. Well, this is inviting. What the hell, guys? You got a tube right here that's not doing its job. Um, well, we're gonna have to hope for the best here. I'm going to go down as far as I can and take one big long step. It's not, I'm poking it. It's only deep right there. So, and I can get past that. So I'm going to go to there. Oh, yeah. Oh, perfect. All right. Well, if that's the only one we have to deal with. We're in good shape. But. We are going lower and lower, and there is water over there. We'll see what happens. minute. I just 
realized I forgot to plug in my charger. There we go. Okay. I have a fold out solar charger. have it strapped onto the backpack so it charges my phone as I'm hiking and the Sun charges the charger as I'm hiking so as I'm for, well let's put it this way whoa as I fall for the first two hours of the day I made videos one was an hour and 18 minutes, and the other was an hour and six minutes. And when I got back to the van for lunch, the phone was still at 100%. So, yeah, <laughs> I like that. There's a shot. <coughs> But like I said, during lunch, the wind picked up a little. The temperature came up a little. I could still be wearing a sweatshirt, but I'm thinking it's gonna get warmer yet. And I know some of this trail is in a lot of open like this. And a lot, when once we get to the real south, south side, and then once we get up closer to where the um, one way scenic loop starts and gets a lot more opened up up there too. This loop should be over five miles by the time it's over and done. I don't have the tracker on. I sh you know, I just went off into a thought that I should do that next time. I really test the solar battery because, you know, like I said, I shot video for two hours nonstop while I was hiking. And my phone never drained. And neither did the charger. So, <laughs> yay. So maybe I can have the tracking system turned on on the backpacking app I have on X backcountry I can put the tracking on I'll have to try it next time Plenty of things to trip over if you're not paying attention. And oh, we're gonna stand in the shade for a second. Slow my butt down. Here, let's get over here. Maybe we'll see the beaver. <coughs> yeah. I shouldn't be breathing heavy. I just I got a bunch of energy because of the food I ate. So, yeah, but I can slow it down a little bit. I don't want to slow down too much because, like I said, five miles. To me though, if the hike isn't around that five mile mark, it's really just going for a walk. You know, if I'm gonna drive as far as I do to do a hike, I'm gonna get there early enough 
I'm gonna get there so I have time enough to do at least a five mile hike. Five miles don't take you long. If you just, even if you're just walking, you can walk five miles in no time. The sun is really radiant off this brown grass. Be all the thermal waves. Lots of meadow. Stops, you can, I can feel the sun. I need to get up out of that rut for a minute. This one's almost steep enough to make you go to your toes. So far, I'm doing it. Getting a good stretch on the calves, though. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. That was sweet. I got the ticker going. Imagine that view in the fall. Yep, purr. It's a nice little flat right here. Here. Unfortunately, our flat's way up there yet. <laughs> Nothing to it, man. Nothing to it. Now we're burning off yesterday's food and today's food. Today wasn't so bad. <coughs> I just bought a handful of the individual um, turkey breast. Like there's enough in the package to make a sandwich. I just bought a handful of those packages and uh, deli hamburger buns and just make a little small sandwich no cheese I had two of those and a banana yeah that's it I thought I had one of those oat bars too, but I didn't. If you watched either part one or part two, I'm not sure which part it's in, but maybe both. <laughs> I mentioned that I brought Black Angus patties and I was going to make them at last break at lunch but they're still froze and they probably will still be froze when we get back from this one even though it's five miles they were froze pretty good Ooh. 
little side step there. Seems like a lot of ag type field here. You're walking along the edge of like a lot of hay field back there. And now it's looks like the same up here a little bit. Oh. Keep the water in me now, though. Whoa. Oh, there goes a snake, a garter. First one I've seen. Yeah, it's really warm on this grass. Little garter snake, not even a two foot long. First one of the year, out catching grasshoppers. Horses came through here today, that's for sure. Not a whole lot here, is there? Just open grass. I'm hoping not to miss the... There goes another one, a garter snake. Wow, they're all up here. Cool. I'll go a little slower. Maybe we'll catch one moving a little better next time. Yeah. They feel you coming. They feel the ground vibrating. They bolt. They're like, nope. They sound really big. We need to get the hell out of here. in the wind. Get it some swamp view and get out of the wind for a second. So the second snake was just a little bit bigger than the first one. Maybe we'll get lucky. But see that? We're still not that far from the road. Well, I don't know if you can see that. There's a car right there. <coughs> Smells like spring out here. Spring has sprung. And an intersection. I'm almost thinking we take a right here. Because we want to go up and cross the road. 
but we'll see. Maybe we'll go left. Oh, it's one of these funky signs again. All right, we're at Y. Yeah, we gotta we gotta go left and get over here. These trails out here are for the cross country skiers, obviously, because this is well, it's, it's oh, snowmobile. That's what the yellow is. It's all the snowmobile trails. Well, that's kind of okay. That means they'll be roomed. So, yeah, and the dots are cross country. This is a winter map. It even says it right there, but all I gotta do is read. Dang, boy. All right. Let's take my idiot ass up out of here. place for a mud hole. I mean, it's a low spot, but we've walked through lower, oddly enough. Okay, we're going to stay on the high side on this one. This is definitely muck. Not so bad. Should have hiked this first thing this spring, but there's no leaves on it. And you could have seen way down into there and all the way over to that ridge with no leaves. So in the winter time, on a snowmobile, this would look really cool. Not that it doesn't now, but you'd be able to see way over to that other ridge over there. Real easy. And the lake that's probably between us. Feels better already.
been a gradual, yeah, been a gradual downhill. I can feel it tugging me. One of those gradual downhills you don't realize that and then all of a sudden you get yourself tripped up like that because you're just going faster and faster and you don't realize it. Well, I gotta say, there's not a lot of ankle twisters on this trail, that's for sure. It's mostly because it's a horse trail right now. S snowmobiles aren't using it. And I don't even think ATVs are allowed in this park. I'm not sure, to tell you the truth. I don't pay much attention. I don't own one. So, you know, I just kind of skip over that part and the uh, rules and regulations when they come out every year. I, I don't read any of it. I mean, I know the obvious, you have to license them and all that, but other than that, I don't know anything about them. I've owned some, but in places where you didn't need to do all this registration stuff. Okay, what do we got here? Got a little trail that almost looks um, interpretive. We're at Z. Um, oh, okay. So this is where, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we can take this, let's do it. This is what I wanted to take. This is the peak, the trail that goes up. This is the only challenge we're gonna have, probably, on the whole trail, so let's do it. This is nothing but hiking. No horses, no nothing. Oh! And it's not near as groomed. It's basically a footpath. slow down a little bit on this one actually because I'm willing to bet that I'm, yeah not a lot of people use this trail this might be our most action let's see what happens here it's not long it's only three quarters of a mile Now that everything's grown up good, you basically won't see anything unless it's in the trail. That's getting steeper. Drink water. Whew. This pack keeps the water pretty cold. Actually, I was just surprised. I, did, I was just taking a big long drink, and all of a sudden, <coughs> the water that wasn't visible came up from the bottom, and whoa, it was way colder.
basically walking a little saddle of two ridges here. That puppy goes way up there. Yeah. I don't know if we go that high, but we're gonna find out. Uh, you can't really tell how far we've come because, like I said, it's basically a footpath, but it goes around the corner anyway. You can't really see it. This is nice. A lot of browsing going on here. Very little undergrowth. there don't it? That's, <laughs> that's quite a peak. Wow, that makes those trees look really tall. had a first mosquito buzz by my ear. Huh. That's weird. Up in the higher ground. Although there's absolutely no wind right here at all. moments after this, that's for sure. definitely going to use two. I've decided. Two hiking poles. Because I noticed that when I hike with it in my right hand, which is the majority of the time because I'm right-handed, it's just naturally you just do it. My left shoulder gets sore because it's just hanging with the pressure of the backpack where the right one's moving whoops because I'm swinging the the trek pole oh, it's a stick oh, that was an antler but anyway my right shoulder never got sore hiking all the time because it was moving with the trek pole so now I switch hands periodically, just to see if it still if it'll happen. Oh, that I should have turned around quicker. Oof. 
because it dropped right down in there. And I don't even want to go that far back to show you because I don't want to even hike that little bit back. <laughs> oh, man. That put the burn in the buttocks. Nothing to it but to do it, right? Moving on. It's kind of nice up here on the plateau. Maybe we'll get a decent scenery over here. If it opens up at all. I have a feeling the scenery is in the winter time. Right through there. Oh. In the distance. I guess it's not really interpretive, it's marked and well used, so. a kid I'll always remember when I was a kid going to Warner Mountain Boys Club and if you're an East Coast guy and you've heard of that that's unbelievable because that was literally something I did 50 years ago now so, and it was kind of like Boy Scouts, but more like a summer camp. And you learned a whole lot more than you did at Boy Scouts. In Boy Scouts, you learn enough to get a badge, and then you forget that because you're moving on to get your next badge. So you're, you may remember what you learned. That's all cool, that's all good. But when you're out camping in it, living in it, doing it every day, you know, you don't forget. That was something with hooves. Something with hooves just ran. Cocoon, cocoon, cocoon. sticks under these leaves you don't see and your toes catch them on little twigs from the very ends of the branches wow it is really nice walking through these woods right now the breeze is calm but refreshing Cooled me down quite a bit from hiking up that big old beast a little while ago. different trail now. It's way easier walking across the top of the ridge. I 
I'm not sure I'm looking forward to going down. Pretty nice up here. Oop. First mosquito. Sorry about that. Good thing I had my hat off. Now I got a swatter. I have a thermosel right in the dang van. Now my body temperature is rising and sweating and it's getting a little humid out so now they're finding me. I need to get into the window a little more now. Oh yeah. Let's stand right here in the shade for a second. We'll turn and get the wind in our face. Wherever it might be. Right there. It's but the breeze. Oh, feels good though. That's quite a clearing. Clearings are my thing. They just always have been. I've seen more wildlife in clearings than anywhere else. Except maybe squirrels. You have to be kind of in the trees to see the majority of them. But you still see them in clearings too. Especially cornfields. They get out there and steal them corn cobs. They're not afraid. This is really cool. Very, very back in the woods on this trip. I like this. We wouldn't see anything but other hikers on this trip. Too bad it's only three quarters of a mile long. Although, we didn't get into mosquitoes until we get into this one. All this little brush they're hanging out in right here. You walked out through that, you'd get attacked. I'm kicking up some on these leaves. That's a squirrel. Chatter, chatter, bark, bark. We need some more people to hike this. Get it worn out a little more. Let the horses walk on it for a year. Then it'll be nice and clean and packed down. A lot less leaves. Well, this is about the bend of the peak right here. That's our bridge we just walked across. We're going to start going down the little looks right here. You can look down and see 
how the trees are getting lower and lower in the distance. Kind of a noisy trail, unfortunately. Sorry to say, there's sticks underneath all these leaves. I keep tripping over. The leaves themselves are thick in places. But it was a nice ridge to climb. And it's not bad, one going down. Ooh, I smell something swampy. What the hell's going on down here? of dead animals down here or something. We got a pile of trees. That's for dang sure. Wow. That's crazy. It looks like it used to go that way. But it looks like it now goes this way. <laughs> I don't know. This is, it's, been, it's been going this way for a while. But let me get over these. <coughs> cool to see maple trees. Ooh. Oh, yeah. This was cut a while back. This trail has been here a while. That's not freshly cut. That's too bad. That was a pretty big tree to fall. We're still up quite a ways. Maybe that uh, ridge that we were on that whole time was gradually climbing up too because this seems a lot higher than what I had going up. We've been going down for a while. And we had a ways to go by the looks of the scenery here. This is really nice up here. Somebody walked along and painted all the tree exposed tree leaves red so you can keep your way. Oh yeah, I'm feeling it in the knees now. We're, been, we're going down now. That was a little drop. That wasn't too bad. It felt like it was a little steeper than that, but yeah, that's cool. Oh, a little switchy back turn here. That's a nice clearing. Let's get over here a little bit. Oh, wow. That drops right off pretty cool down there. Not bad. I like it. This is what I'm used to. Old washed out trails. This is what we grew up with. Even in the meadows, if you walk to see, if you see the meadows and the east coast where the cows walk a straight line to the barns and back, they look just like this. Rocks exposed, roots exposed. The water gets in them and just washes everything away. And we got a lot of rocks back home. 
The East Coast is loaded with rocks. All the rivers have rocks. That's why we have trout in every river. Because we have places for them to put their eggs. It's not all sand and soot and fish. But that's just the way it is. Oh, toe catchers. You know, you look right at them, but you just don't think it's going to happen. And sure enough, snap. Catches your shoelaces and gets caught in them, just like that one did. Well, now we're going to get some sunshine. Ouch. Twisting my neck real quick. Got a little tweak in it. Oof. Can't wait till we turn and start heading north. That actually should be happening soon. I mean, I see a, a gentle turn going that way now, but I mean, we've been going south for quite some time here. I want that sun on the solar panels back there on my backpack. Keep the phone charged full. We got a long way to go around. We ain't even to the bottom of the downside yet. Uh oh, there's quite a view across there. That's kind of cool. Okay, here comes the road. We're gonna walk on this for a little while. But at least we won't be tripping over sticks. This is part of the uh, Park Drive scenic loop. So, we could see anything from vehicles to horses to people. All right, yeah, we're right here. This is the Ironwood Trail that we just walked. So here's a summer trail. See the difference? I mean, way different. It's not just yellow. Now it has all the trails back on it. I like this one better. So now we're gonna walk this road for a while until we pick up this right here, which I think is also still part of the dirt road. So we may end up having the dirt road all the way up to J. I think, that, no, that's our, my bad. I was looking at something else there. So we got a ways to go. Ooh. Just get up here on this road. It's not a, you know, it's not a hard walk. I gotta check for ticks real quick. All right. This just gives us a little bit more slow down time. You know what? While I'm here, hold on a second. No, okay, good. I just want to make sure we're still recording. And I like to do it in a place where I can edit it out because it's just a dirt road. Uh, 
back home, we have more dirt roads than we have paved roads. And they're all in really good shape just like this. Because people drive them like people, not like race car drivers. Heading a little bit more north now, that's good. We had to get to the road to start the northern. We're gonna go veer west still, and then we're gonna get up probably over toward that ridge, maybe even over it, and then go east again, all the way back over where we started. We're basically walking along the west side of the park. This goes right up to the beach. Maybe we'll do that. We'll go up to the beach and, yeah, we'll go up to the beach and take a break. And I got a bunch of snacks in here. Maybe even walk in the water and check that out. Well, God damn it, now we gotta do it. That'll be a good place to start the next video. We'll make it to the beach and then we'll go from there out. Good call, whoever thought of that. There's going to be some people there today. I will guarantee you that. It would be a cool place to hang out for a little while. Get some crazy family fun footage. here it was a little different looking uh, maybe not um, let me think here for a second Actually, let me just look, because I'm thinking I'm going a different direction than I need to be. Yeah, I was wrong. Okay. I remember Lita Lake. There's two Lita Lake campgrounds. There's one on the south side of Lita Lake and one on the north. And the one on the south is not the one we want. That's why. Yeah. This is where the beginning of one way starts. There's no cars coming up this road. But from here on there is because of the campsite back there. Crossover trail that we're, I, I thought was maybe that post, but from the distance, you can't see a sign that's sideways, you know. So, but there's a, yeah, there's a crossover trail that we're gonna take that's off of this.
nothing but meadow. Maybe a fun hill to sled down in the winter. Eh, maybe not. It's not as steep as it looks. And it's short. Then you gotta hike your ass back up it just to go down for four seconds. Let's get on the shaded side. I like to walk into traffic, that way I can see if they're crazy enough to run me over. I can dive into the woods. Nobody would ride mountain bike with me because I'd always ride into traffic on the, in, on the side. And it is against the law to ride into traffic. But you can see them people when they veer around you. And that's what you want. When they're coming up from behind you, they, you can't see nothing. <laughs> so I want to know if they're going to avoid me. I don't care if I'm a nuisance. I'm a nuisance either way to them. Whether I'm on one side or the other. Those are the people that are going to complain about bikers anyway. So... I, I want to make dang sure they're out of my way. I stay way over. I don't, I don't ride anywhere near, or I don't ride at all anymore, but I never rode anywhere near the sideline. I was way off on the shoulder, especially if it was a huge shoulder. I like that up there. <coughs> That's a nice clearing. Be a cool place for a cabin. You just go up there and sit, do nothing sit there. Well, you can kind of see the lake through there. Actually, I bet you can see the blue pretty well. I got it set on HD, so the definition should be pretty good. There's a slew. I'm not even going to go over to it. It's probably loaded with mosquitoes and frogs and snakes. That's a little slew right there. Definitely taking the easy way. That's for sure. Some kind of a gravel pit or something. Sure, what the deal is here? Wildlife viewing area? Really? Of what? Uh, must be something on the other side of the. We're not gonna go over there. We got things to do. We got a long hike yet. Our viewing is coming up. That's a cool little shack up there, though. Yeah. I see a better one. Get up here a little higher. Oh, yeah. Not 
not much left to it, but <laughs> it almost looks like it was an old ticket booth or something at one point, and they just stuck it there in the booth for shelter. I'd use it. It was pouring rain. Dang right. Well, I gotta admit, <laughs> even though it's crunchy crunchy under every foot, I haven't tripped over a single dang branch or anything. So, yeah, there's that. Here comes the vehicle. Supposed to be 20 miles an hour here. That was a park ranger. What the hell? Old park ranger's moving right along there. Switch hands again with the old trekking pole. Another vehicle. <laughs> I see a lot of shimmering windshields down, down there's a the campground this road right here to the left goes down to the campground this is where I always thought I was coming out back there. That's why I look like such a dork. Because this is also where, as you can see now, park drive starts. And the park entrance is that way. But we're going up this trail. That's why I walked up the road a little bit. But I thought, oh yeah, we're here. Well, we weren't. So, but anyway... There's, uh, you go down this road right here, it goes down to a loop like this with campsites. And you go down this road, and it goes up and around, and it has a loop that goes like this. Oh, the, uh, well, first it turns left right there. That's part of this one. But So there's two big campgrounds right here. And um, there's Shoreline. Um, I'm trying to remember the name of the lake here. I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about because I'm an idiot and can't speak okay we're right here you can see how the campgrounds are too big two loops 
They're right along the shore. And that's a drop though. You gotta hike down to the lake to get to there, but it's really cool. Um, this is what we're gonna do now, up to here. And then we'll decide from here. This is what we're gonna do eventually. But once we get here, we gotta walk a little bit of pavement and stuff, and then we can go to the beach. And uh, here, we're gonna do that. Yeah, let's just do that. Come on. I've walked this, I know this. This is a really nice trail. We might bump into horses. Yeah, this is a really nice trail. It's a little steep right here at the beginning. It opens up into a really nice field with a little lake on the other side. Two lakes, actually. That one that you just walked around there. Bottom side. That's the bottom of it. Oh, 10 degrees cooler already. Loving it. Yeah, we're doing good. I have to make sure I still have my watch. I pulled that map out of that same pocket. It's not an expensive watch, but. Here is actually the roughest part of this trail. I heard something. I don't know if it's somebody coming up the road. Oh yeah, that's somebody coming up the road or banging or emptying garbage. Never mind. Oh. We get a little break for a sec, then we go a little higher. Yeah. Tell it's getting steep. I'm stomping my feet when I walk now. <laughs> it's a sure sign your butt's getting tired. You don't want to pick your feet up any higher than you need to. I just did this trail. Ooh, that was an ass burner. Holy shit. Ooh. Let's take a look at that, folks. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, that may not look like much, but let me tell you what. Whew. You could bounce a penny off my butt cheeks right now. Holy balls. Alright. Nothing to it but to do it. Whew. Should have ate a little more. But I think I'll be alright. I got a bunch of snack 
stuff. My all time favorite little square peanut butter crackers. I got a couple of those for sure. I think I got another banana with me too. Score! Gradual descend. Oh. Yeah, this is really cleaned out nice right through here. I don't know if the uh, park does it, you know, cuts the trees, thins it out. So they don't fall over the trail like this one's about to. But I mean, it's smart because it does get windy up on the ridges, and uh, that's what knocks them over. I know it's funny. I've lived in a lot of places in the United States because I just was one of those kind of guys that you know, I don't really need much to survive I was never the kind of guy that was ever interested in buying a home and being settled in one place oh my god, I gotta go to work at here every day for the rest of my life because I just bought a house I gotta pay for it for 30 years that scared the fuck out of me I was like, holy shit you know, I've seen my dad going through all that. Everybody I knew. Humdrum. Get up, go to work, pay for my house. 30 years later, you own it, and it needs a shitload of work. <laughs> but whatever. I'm not knocking it, you know. People want families. you got to have a place to raise a family. So, and that's the other thing that was never really a priority to me. The whole family. You know, that's being selfish as fuck, I know. But it's life is really hard when you have a pet. Now you put a family with that pet and your life just became way difficult. There's a person I know right now. Just had a newborn over the winter. His life changed dramatically, you know, for the good in a lot of ways, and well, for the good in most ways. You know, not saying that him having a kid was a bad thing, but it just changed things to where you got to do things now that you never wanted to. You got to get up at two in the morning and change a diaper because your kid's crying, or feed it, or whatever. You know, you just your life has changed I was never ready for that I'm too I want to do this today and that's usually what I do and it's just so much harder to oh I want to do this today oh wait uh, let's see I got to make sure the kids got this first and pack that so we can bring that along and then we don't, by the time you get all that shit figured out and organized, half the shit's gone unless you plan it two days ahead of time. But that's not me. It's not my style. You can tell just by the way I do my hiking. I planned on doing a totally different loop today. I planned on doing an 11-mile one loop. So far, I haven't touched any of that trail. Oh, yes, I am right now. Just part of it is. But... It's just, that's what I'm saying. My life changes minute by minute. Having a family is a tough gig, you know.
Oh boy. Yeah, I remember this trail. We're not far at all. That little bit of water you can see down there. We'll walk, we'll walk alongside it here to the left and we'll come up on a little bit of a touristy area where you can sit, take a break, which is what we will do before we go down to the beach. Sit under the building and get in the shade. Happy woodpecker back there. <coughs> I hear ducks out there. Bunch of rookies out here playing Star Wars, Star Wars. Star Wars. Hello. Hey. see some young people out here hiking though or at least walking trails So pretty neat. It would be really cool to horseback this. sun for a little while. We got running water here. Running from here over to that lake. Oh yeah, there's bullfrogs in here. Did you hear that? Come here, honey. 
Let's do the hop. <laughs> a good stand in the shade there for a second. up there isn't it all the way to the top yeah yeah we'll get another view up here get a little longer <coughs> That's the way we're gonna go, but after. For now, let's go up here to where the buildings are. Take a break. ground feels weird. I don't know if my feet can handle that. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of people here. Although, it's I've seen it way busier. Like this whole parking lot we're walking in is full. Once it's really going. When it gets up to then staying 80, 85 every day, places like this will be jam-packed. I just walked across just to get out of the way. We're going to jump up this stairway here in a little bit. Yeah, there's quite a few cars here. could just run right up the hillside, but I don't like doing that. It just makes little trails everywhere. It just looks horrible when they build steps like this for you purposely to get up there. Oh, this is cool looking. I did a neat job doing it. You it's flat stone. That's neat. Almost perfect placement for your feet. Good enough anyway. Uh, here's a sitting area. There's people in there, so I'm not going to go in there. But I'm go over here where it's shady. Hoping it was a table over here in the shade. Evidently, 
I want to put everybody in the sunshine. <laughs> That's all right, we'll go over here. We're going to the beach, so I guess we can just go right down there. That's this way. So you just basically got a tour of a really cool building that everybody hangs out in. It has picnics and such. All right, let's get off the grass so we're not doing exactly what I don't like to do. Make little footprints all over. Oh. Okay. Yes, I just wanted to get out of the way. That's my barbecue. I used to be able to drive down here a little further, but no more. signs, L and R's, don't do stupid shit, and behave. I'm not sure we're going to find any tables in this shade. Maybe. Oh, here we go. This is shady enough.